These glasses will cost you $600. They're actually smart glasses called Focals, made by the Canadian startup North. Focals are meant for everyday use, and their main purpose? To make you rely less on having to pull out your phone. But these provide you notifications and other information right in front of your face. Just like smartphones, but faster and arguably more convenient. But is it really as good as it seems? I wanted to see if smart glasses really will replace a smartphone, or if it's just all hype. Watch out, New York, Alex has a pair of smart glasses. So how do they work? There's a holographic display on the right lens that shows notifications and information directly from your phone. This is all controlled by a small ring called the loop, which allows you to navigate and interact with your display all via Bluetooth. The idea was what can we create that can be part of your everyday life and seamlessly fit into your life and give you all of those benefits of being connected to the world. From the home screen alone, I could check the time, weather, messages, calendar notifications, locations, and even my battery life. Pretty much everything I could check on my phone. Well, maybe not everything, just the things I wanna know right away. It even has Alexa integrated into the glasses, so you can ask Alexa questions through the built-in mic and speaker. Focals can even let you call an Uber. You better believe we tried all these features along the way. First stop, getting fitted. At North Showroom in Brooklyn, they custom fitted me and even gave me a quick demo of what I would experience when wearing them. A pretty unique sizing process, measuring my head size, width between my eyes, and other measurements to make sure the hologram would perfectly align with my eyes. The crazy part is they are just made for me, so no one else could see the hologram display while wearing my glasses. I hear little beeps uh, in my right ear, but nothing's showing up. Am I not looking in the right place? <laughs> After a few weeks, my glasses were ready to be picked up and sized for my final fitting. I just got them, woohoo! It is officially day one of me wearing my Focal Smart Glasses. I'm heading into the office and mostly going to be sitting at my desk during the day, just kind of performing simple daily tasks. I'm going to just try and get used to the look and the feel of these and see how my first day goes. I wanted to take my focals a step further today. I figured it's day one, why not? So I tried out the GPS feature to get me from my apartment to the pass station. Alexa, how do I get to the Hoboken pass station? Directions to the pass station. Hoboken on Hudson Lakes and River Road in Hoboken. Turn left onto First Street. It's kind of neat having each step pop up and then it will go away in about five seconds. So it's not very distracting if I'm walking or crossing the street. And at one point, I intentionally wanted to make a wrong turn to see if it would reroute me, and it didn't. So that was like a little disappointing and kind of shows that their GPS is not so accurate. I'm used to wearing glasses. I do wear them on a daily basis, but after wearing these focals for a full day, my eyes do seem more tired. Alexa, what's the weather today? In Hoboken, it's six degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. I just got to the office and I'm going to put my phone down for the day and just rely on my smart glasses. I was already informed that when I'm sending a voice to text message to one of my contacts, a different number will appear when they receive the message. Okay, so I did pick up my phone just because I posted an Instagram story, but no more phone today. I can't help it if my glasses don't let me check social media. Stay warm. My eyes took a while to get adjusted to the focals. At times they felt heavy, slid down my nose, became loose, and I even had to get them refitted. As my week went on, the holographic display was very out of focus and even glitchy at times. I even lost a nose pad, which kind of threw off all the display and I couldn't really see anything. So I ended up going back to the store to get them realigned and tightened to fit my face. Let's just say day four was the true test when I tried calling an Uber right from my vocals. 
K Street Subway Station. I have the option to walk or Uber, and we're going with the Uber. This Uber is six minutes away, and it's $8. Looking for ride. It was a little complicated ordering the Uber for my vocals. I did have to bring out my phone just to kind of see some of the notifications for when my driver is arriving. It's kind of neat. It is giving me updates throughout my ride and it's saying I'm three minutes away from my destination. I tried texting and responding more and even using my calendar with the glasses. Schedule a meeting for tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. I ran some errands and asked Alexa to guide me to the local grocery store. Would you like directions to organic basic food? LLC on 204 Washington Street in Hoboken. Which again, wasn't an easy navigating experience. Before I knew it, my journey into the future of tech had come to an end. After a full week of wearing my focals, here are my final thoughts. As for the comfort and fit of the focals, they were really uncomfortable at times. They felt even heavy and they would slide down my nose so I had to kind of keep pushing them back up and just really bulky on the sides. Alexa was not very effective when I was in a loud or noisy environment. She couldn't easily connect and understand the commands that I was asking her. This just became really frustrating sometimes and I wanted to just pick up my phone. The holographic display wasn't super clear and easy to see in the sun, so I often used my sun clips. As for the loop, it died a lot faster than the focals, and that could have just been because I was navigating most of the time with the loop. But the good part was I was able to get all my notifications on my focals, and I was a lot more hands-free and relied a lot less on my phone. North has a lot of great features so far and they have a lot more to kind of grow and integrate into these focals, but it would be nice if I could play my music on them, maybe even pick up a phone call and watch some videos. Since trying them out, North has added a few new features like music controls and transit updates to the focals, but it's going to take a lot more than telling it to skip to the next song before it's a must have device. My overall rating for the Focals would be 3 out of 5. Personally, I did not find them to be an ideal everyday wearable. I'm not really a techie person, but it was a really nice challenge to wear these smart glasses for a week and step into the future. I also responded to, what is this? What is this? Hey! 